Number 67. An ice hockey player is moving at 8 meters per second when he hits the puck toward the goal. The speed of the puck relative to the player is 29 uh, meters per second. The line between the center of the goal and the player makes a 90 degree angle relative to his path as shown in figure 3.63. What angle must the puck's velocity make relative to the player to hit the center of the goal? All right, so let's take a look at the picture here. So um, here is the velocity of the player and also the velocity of the puck, right? Assuming the player is traveling with the puck. Um, it is, uh, that is moving at this particular location. It is moving at eight meters per second, essentially due north. And then the player is going to impart a velocity to the puck in this direction of uh, 29 meters per second. And what they want us to do is they want us to find essentially this angle. All right. So let's not actually overcomplicate. This is not too bad. The picture is a, a little deceiving. Well, not deceiving, but there's a lot of stuff in the picture. So let's just try to simplify it. Just focus on the triangle here, all right? Focus on this angle, and also focus on knowing these numbers, meaning we know the hypotenuse and we know this side, okay? What I'm gonna do here is just extend this straight line, all right, perfect, and I'm gonna extend a straight line here. All right, so what do we notice about maybe a little geometry in reference to this angle? Well, this angle in here is congruent to this angle right? Alternate interior angles. All right, so if I can find this angle in my triangle, then I know that it's the same as that angle. So how do I find this angle in the triangle? Well, what do you know about the triangle itself? You know the opposite side, that's 8 meters per second, and you also know the hypotenuse, that's 29 meters per second. So we can simply find that theta. So how do I do that? Well, it looks like I'm going to use sine, right? So sine of theta is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Sine of the angle I'm looking for is going to equal 8.0 all over divided by 29.0. So the sine of theta will equal so 8 over 29. So we get a value of uh, we'll use two sig figs because we have to. Uh, this the value in the numerator had two sig figs, so 0 0.2 uh, 0 0.28, and then simply do the inverse sine. So second sine of 0.28, and we get a value of 16.3, about, right? So, oh, well, excuse me, 16, right? Because we got around to two sig figs. So we get a value of 16 degrees. So that is the theta in the triangle, but remember, that's the same as the theta we needed because of the geometry rule. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. Until next time.